Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Sagging jawline, wrinkle, sagging neck, loose skin, turkey neck. Now guess what? Today I have a wonderful remedy for you. In this video we are going to be tightening the skin, we're going to be firming the skin, we're going to pull that skin back to create a wonderful youthful glow. So if you find your neck sagging, this could be because you have lost some weight or because of aging, guess what? We could try to roll it back by using a few natural homemade remedies and some exercises. So if you're interested, if you're looking to tighten that skin, if you're looking to firm that neck skin, that jawline, and also if you're just looking to maintain, to prevent, then this video is for you, so continue watching. Our first ingredient is coconut oil, and coconut oil is very moisturizing on the skin. It is not only moisturizing on the skin, but it helps to get rid of dry skin. It also penetrates deeply in the skin. It helps to boost the collagen, and with boots and the collagen, and comes getting rid of your wrinkles and fine lines. This is a wonderful oil to use on your jawline to help to tighten it from getting sagging skin. Our next ingredient is green tea and green tea is one ingredient that is great for wrinkled skin. It is great for sagging skin. It helps to tighten the skin. It helps to nourish the skin because it is loaded with a lot of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals that are great for the skin overall. Our next ingredient is aloe vera gel and this is the store-bought aloe vera gel. If you have fresh aloe vera, you could go ahead and use that, but for a longer shelf life, I'm using the store-bought. Now, aloe vera is like the number one products that is great for wrinkled skin. It's not only will get rid of your wrinkles, but it will also get rid of spots and blemishes. It will moisturize your skin. It will just have your skin just soft and supple. Our next ingredient is grapeseed oil. If you do not have grapeseed oil, not to worry. Use some almond oil or some olive oil in this recipe. Now, grapeseed oil is loaded with vitamin E, and vitamin E will help to boots the collagen also on the skin. One thing I like about grapeseed oil is that it just absorbs deeply in the skin, therefore creating a plumper looking skin. And once your skin plump, it's just going to fade those wrinkles and it's also going to help to tighten up those skin. Our next ingredient is vitamin E oil. And this is one oil that is very popular worldwide for skincare because it really and truly works. It's loaded with antioxidants. It's going to get rid of your dry skin. It's going to get rid of your fine lines and wrinkles. It's going to penetrate deeply into the skin, causing your skin to be soft and supple. It is also a wonderful oil for sagging skin. So using vitamin E oil in this remedy is a wonderful choice. So here we have our tea bag, and this is about a teaspoon of green tea so I'm gonna pour it in the bowl and this is finely crushed and this is why I'm using the tea bag now here is the green tea and I'm gonna try to crush it some more if you're using loose leaf go ahead and blend the green tea blend it almost to a powder or try to crush it almost to a powder okay so another way to do this is just to take it in your hands and just roll it like this just crush it and look at mine, this is almost powder-like, so this is good. Next, we're gonna take our coconut oil, and this is solid, I'm using one tablespoon. If you have the liquid, use about two tablespoons. And I'm almost out of this coconut oil. I actually like to use the solid for this recipe, because it's give you a cream-like consistency and this is good next so for the aloe vera gel I'm using one tablespoon grapeseed oil I'm using one teaspoon remember you could substitute the grapeseed oil for almond oil or even some olive oil okay and for our vitamin E oil, 
I'm using a half a teaspoon and this is 5,000 IU. Just use your discretion with the vitamin E oil according to how much IU you have. Now once you have all the ingredients together, you're gonna slowly blend and take your time to mix this in. Just blend. And this is gonna look like a serum when we're done. Just keep blending. We're trying to melt our coconut oil. The coconut oil is now melted and this now have a serum consistency, which is great. And here is your sagging skin remedy. Now to use the sagging skin oil, you wanna take a, a little of it, not a lot. You're gonna just blend it like this and you're gonna apply this to your jawline. Massage it in the jawline. As a matter of fact, let me show you how to apply this. So you're just gonna take a little bit, not a lot, just a little, and you're just gonna rub it in your hands like this and then you're gonna apply it to the jawline and also your neck all right so to apply you want to start right here from the chin and you're just going to rub it back just apply the treatment all the way back and that is for the jawline Now what you notice is that while you are applying the treatment to the jawline, you are also massaging the jawline, lifting the jawline with the treatment. And this is gonna help tremendously. So just apply and lift, and you wanna do this about 10 times while applying the treatment. Just keep doing this. Old, old, 10 times, okay? Now after you're done with that, you're gonna go on your neck. Now you're gonna do your neck upwards also. So just apply the treatment on your neck upwards. You keep doing this for a minute or two. And then it's done. And that's how you apply this remedy. Now, to further enhance your treatment, you can choose to do a few exercises for your jawline. And the simple one is just to tilt your head up, hold it back like this, and slowly open your mouth. Once your head is tilted back, you slowly open your mouth like this. And you do this 10 times and you're done. You wanna do this at least two to three times per week for best result and in no time, you will be on your way for a tighter jawline, a tighter neckline, no sagginess, just firm skin, and you definitely will be looking much younger. Now, one thing that is important is that the longer you keep this, is the better it's gonna be because the green tea is gonna be infused in the other ingredient and that is gonna make it more powerful. Now, please note that when you use this, depending on how well you blend your green tea leaves, it's gonna leave some form of a residue and that's gonna be the green tea leaves if you did not blend it out to a powder. Now, you could see just a few little spots on mine because those weren't properly blend. That is one of the reasons why I said try to blend it to a powder, okay? Now, apart from that, that is good. Nothing is wrong with having a little green tea leaves over your skin overnight, all right? <laughs> So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video and leave your comments. And if this was the first time watching, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.